right now. I'm just saying. Are you? <laughs> yeah, I wish I were there. I had to babysit. No, I had a ride to get down there. It's just that I had to babysit. Oh, okay. But I'm really, really jealous, y'all. I'm going to let you know for real. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Robin. Robin just joined us. Robin's hey. in Illinois. Um, Milta mm -hmm. is in Philadelphia. And uh, yes. Melissa is down in Seaside. And Linda is over in Wall Township. Yes, Emily. So, Robin, you're on twice somehow. <laughs> <laughs> Just so you know, because you probably will create an echo that way. <laughs> so kill one of those sessions. <laughs> yeah. Kill one of those sessions. And turn your video on. I love you, kitchen. Thank you. Oh, yeah. it, construction started in June of last year, so it's not even a year old yet. Yeah. Yes. I remember the old one. Right? Oh, totally different. <laughs> totally different. Totally different. When you do your live videos, where do you put your camera? <laughs> do you guys see me over there? No. 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 Yeah. I'm going to move you a little bit so you can see. The question was asked when I do my live videos on Facebook, how do I have my setup? What's going on here? So I'm going to move you a little bit over here. And I think this will work. So there's a cabinet here. See this? So you guys can see there's a cabinet here. And I've got one of those 3M hooks right here. Okay. And inside the cabinet, I've got, do um, you want to get up and look? Yep. I got a chalkboard um, oh. sticky so oh, okay. I can write myself notes. Okay. So then I've got, I need a new, I need a new one already. This is it. My tripod is now um, a bipod. Yeah, a bipod. Oh, now, it's, now it's a one-legged one. <laughs> <laughs> but I got this on Amazon for only like twelve dollars. So it's uh I was looking yeah, I just broke it more. Oh because it's all plastic and yeah. cheap. It was only twelve dollars. <laughs> so now I know we spend a little bit more money, but I would take I would take this and like wrap it around. Okay. Because that's why I wanted a flexible one. Mm -hmm. Even though I could have it like all right. that. And then the ball here would like hold the camera like up like this. And so I did one video and I was like trying to do it and holding it. I'm like, no, there's got to yeah, be a better Yeah, you can. I found some stand at um, Five Flow actually. Oh yeah. So did you? I should take a picture of it because it's like it's a coil thing and it clips on really tight oh, to the cabinet door. Okay. Oh it wow. It and, Perfect. Like, coil it. Angle it up, down. So see, this is flexible. This thing that was holding the camera, the phone. And then when you film, you want to hold your camera, your phone like this, instead of like this. Yep. Why? Because um, then the video, video is long with the screen. Yep. This, when it's like this, the video is short and like it's thin and you can't like expand. So it, it just looks like you need to open up the picture yeah. more. But okay. you can't. So, so you, I'll turn my. Okay. So you hold it, right. hold it like that. So there's my little. And you smile. There was my yes. Yes. Did you see my first one? Oh, it's so bad. <laughs> I did one and I recorded <laughs> myself um, okay. using the multi grader slicer. And as I'm doing. Hi, baby Santos. Oh my God. <laughs> I just kept going. Laugh. Say hi, Katja. Say hi. Hi. Aww. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Okay. So I'm going to start off with, um, I've got some recognition that I want to give. And um, guys, welcome. This is being recorded in case you guys didn't catch that. I'm Jessica, I'm an advanced director with Pamper Chef. And um, you guys are all on my team. Even you, Patty. You're on my team. So, and I say it like that for those of you who don't know, Patty is here with, she's hospitality. Her director lives out in Pennsylvania. Oh. Um, so she comes, she lives in Jackson, so she comes here for hospitality. 
um, to get motivated mm -hmm. and get moving. That's great. Yeah, um, that's a great motivator. Yeah. So I um, welcome Patty and all of you. And I want to thank all of you for being here and investing time in yourselves um, and being here. I can't stress enough how much um, these meetings are not required. They're not. You don't have to come every month. Um, but if you want a paycheck every month, I highly recommend that you do come. Um, and I'm, I'm going to kind of whine and cry a little bit <laughs> about meeting attendance right now uh, because it's been extremely, extremely low um, over the last year. Um, and I put a lot of effort into organizing these meetings and providing you guys with training and giving you um, the tools that you need to be successful um, in your businesses. So when we have a meeting, um, these are only once a month. Um, and I am trying to make them consistent so there's no surprises on when the meeting is. So just note this in your calendars that it's the second Tuesday of the month. Um, and I'm going to be hosting them here in Point Pleasant at my house. Um, I will say though, May's meeting will be the third Tuesday of the month, only because I will be in Mexico with Pampered Chef during that second week. Mm -hmm. So, um, since you guys are here, would you prefer the first Tuesday or the third Tuesday of the month of May? Doesn't matter. Doesn't yeah. matter? Whichever is better for you. Okay. All right. So we'll do it after so that way you can like, not worry about it before. Whatever. Yeah. So we'll leave it at the third Tuesday, whatever. Yeah. I think it's the 18th, 19th, some, somewhere around there. Um, so that, that's the only change for, for May. Um, that's when May meeting will be. Um, Trish will be sailing the to the Bahamas. I think she leaves next week. Um, going on her trip with uh, with Pampered Chef. So that's awesome. Sixteen. Sixteen. Yeah, yeah okay. that sounds right. Yep, okay. that sounds right. Um, so whatever you guys can do to make it happen to come to these meetings. Uh, Trish and I would greatly appreciate it uh, because we want you to make your businesses what you want your businesses to be. Um, those of you who live far away totally understand, and that's why we have this option here where you can join us via Zoom. And believe me, uh, Robin and Milta and Melissa, you guys are really, really great at joining in every month and actually joining in on any opportunity that's given to you. Um, oh, thank you, yeah, man. It, is, it is noted, just so you know. Um, Hello, Pat. Hello. Hi there. Hey. I, think I should have called you and picked you up. Yeah. Um, <laughs> then you would have been late. <laughs> yeah. That's true. I'm not late. Late. Oh, that's right. You're off. Yeah. What'd you, you make? <laughs> Nice. Naughty brownie? Yes, naughty brownie. Naughty brownie. Yay. I almost picked up your uh, surprise brownie. Surprise brownie. Pull up the seat. Nope. So without further ado, um, I'm going to go over some numbers and some stats that I'm very, very excited about, by the way. Um, you guys really persevered and pulled through for the month of March. Um, so let me share with you what our numbers were in uh, March of 2016. Remember, I gave us all a challenge, like, globally through the team to beat last year with our sales, our shows, our recruits, all of it. And I'm happy to report that we exceeded. So here's what we did in March of 2016. As a team, we had $20,376 committed as a team in March of 2016. We did a total of 36 shows, and we had um, 
a total of three new team members join us in March of 2016. Um, in the month of March, um, we also had um, no consultants drop off, meaning that uh, we didn't lose anybody. They didn't go into their sixth month without <coughs> doing any sales, so we didn't lose anybody in March of 2016. We had a total of 21 consultants active in the month of um, March of 2016. And that needs to be active is just $150 or more in commissionable sales uh, was submitted. And we had a total of, um, we had one, uh, we had one director, which is Trish, Team Kosh, um, made their director status in March of 2016. So last year was a um, great month for March. And it was really, and reading up all those numbers, it was, sorry. <laughs> it was a great month to, um, to kind of uh, compete against, too. So, <laughs> I was not feeling the love, let me tell you. <laughs> so, there's a store right here, Trish, if you want to sit. Um, all right, so. Um, here is what happened for March of 2017. We had, get this, we increased our sales by um, just under $4,000. So as a team in March, we did $24,229.87. That's fantastic. Um, we did a total of 40 shows. So we did uh, four more shows in 2017 than we did in 2016. We also introduced four new team members last month. Four new team members, that's fantastic. Um, this month, this mo for the month of March in 2017, however, we did lose, uh, we did lose a team member where she, um, was dropped because six months in a row there was no sale submitted uh, but I knew that was coming so that would be Colleen Tignatelli if anybody remembers who she is um, so she's officially hung up her pamper chef apron for now um, we had now this number is interesting because if you recall what I said 2016 uh, March we had 21 active consultants we had less active consultants this year but did more wow so that nice. means you guys are doing something out there and increasing <laughs> um your numbers and everything too so we had a total of 19 active consultants out of 29 team members wow. so we had 10 people who didn't even do anything for the month of march <laughs> um and then of course we had team kosh who pulled pulled through persevered and um <laughs> made it to director status. I should have grabbed my clapper. Yeah, I have mine at home. <laughs> um, <laughs> so that is really, really fantastic. So I will be breaking it down a little bit more in a moment, uh, but here's the numbers that we need to beat in April. So last year, and I'm going to post this on our team page too, so you guys can see, you know, so you guys can see what our goals are as well um, as a team. So we had um, 28 active, I'm sorry, 28 team members in April 2016. We had, um, I didn't write down how many were active, but we had a total of 28 team members in April 2016. We did as a team $20,828. We did a total of 36 shows. And we uh, brought in two new team members in the month of April. I would love to see us as a team even outdo March and April. So I think it's fair to set our goal to 30,000 as a team in April, um, do about 45 shows in April. And uh, let's see if we can add one more team member than we did last month that's five new team members, okay? So as a team, I'm hoping we can hit five, add new, five new team members in April. <clears throat> so 
those of you who contributed to those numbers in March, thank you very much. We have um, these consultants submitted um, $300 or less and we're active for the month. And that is uh, D, Patty Pereira, Ellen Petro, Shari, Robin Schneider, Linda Citrone is with us, those two, two ladies. Lainey, and then we have with $310.30, Melissa Williams. Uh, Lauren Hodgkin had a show in with $332. We have Anna who put in $379. Woo -hoo! Colleen Castanello, um, she lives all the way up in um, Madison, New Jersey. She's fairly new. She joined us in December, the end of December, I think it was, or early January. Uh, she joined and um, she's qualified. She already did all that too last um, in February. But anyway, she submitted another show um, in March of $379.80. We have Annalena, which is also, she's way up north as well, um, $412. Okay. Milta, $475. She always surprises me the last day of the month, too. There's always <laughs> that little thing that she puts in that last day of the month. Um, Gisela, $499. And then Miss Tammy Lynn Latanzi, who is out celebrating her wedding anniversary now with her husband. Um, hey, you're going to break it. She did $1,232.37. And a lot of that was um, with these little challenges that she gives herself. Like she gives herself a challenge to sell so many ceramic egg cookers. Or um, another one she did was a spicy rum sauce. Um, but she's She's um, getting really creative with uh, accumulating her sales, and she did 1,200. That's fantastic. She was excited. Um, and then we have uh, Miss Jennifer Fowler. Jen, I'm going to make you come up because Jen, not only did she submit $1,508, um, she did that in two shows. She's our newest qualified consultant. You get your qualification pin. You get, what else do I have for you? I love what I do. You can too. Your pamper check pin. I probably gave you one of those already, but you can have another one if I didn't. 30 day bonus achiever ribbon. Woohoo! And 12.50 sales achiever ribbon. And then we get for the first. So, um, Jen achieved her $1,250 um, and actually exceeded that in her first 30 days. And um, the month that she joined, the promotion was uh, 200 Pampered Chef dollars. So, she got a bonus of $100 oh, of Pampered Chef money in her um, Pampered Chef bank account. So did you spend it yet? No. no? I have my wish list going. I keep moving things, prioritizing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so she didn't spend it yet. Um, let's see. Doo, doo, doo. Then oh, I've got another special recognition for Miss Lisa Sinclair. Come on up, Lisa. Lisa did. Listen to this, guys. $2,094.36. Woohoo! Get this. All right, and get this. I believe I was looking at everything quickly, so I'm pretty sure um, she gets this ribbon, which is I beat my best. Yeah, definitely. She beat her best. <laughs> And uh, she also, 
she also gets a high show ribbon because out of that $2,000, um, she did a $1,500 virtual show. Oh my God, that's fantastic. That's fantastic. I'm going to oh. continue doing Facebook Live on and cook while I'm, she's really, okay. I'm going to try that. Yeah. Come, um, go ahead and sit back okay. down so you, because so, I want to ask the, exactly what I wanted, want you to share is how did, how did, what are your different, what do you think made that virtual show turn into a $1,500 show and share with us? Okay. Um, well, I think it's very important to coach the host. Um, and I never knew how important that was, but that was, I had, she was a customer of mine and she would just, she would buy things from other shows that I had. And I said, why don't you have your own show? And she was going to buy the whole um, herb stripper, the mill, everything. I said, why don't you just do a virtual show? It's easy. You don't have to clean your house. Cause she's like, yeah, I can't have anybody in my house. It's so small. And stuff. So she's like, you know what? That sounds good. Cause I can invite people. And I was told you can invite people that normally wouldn't come if they're far away mm -hmm. and everything. So I was coaching her and then um, through with the sin share too, I was posting things. We created her show, but what she did, um, she talked about it and she started listing um, every day up to her show, uh, also along with my recipes that I was posting on her show page and videos of like the spiralizer, the, um, the herb uh, set and just different things. She was saying what her favorite things from Pampered Chef were. So every day she would say, my, you know, one of my favorite things from Pampered Chef is the garlic press because of this, because of that. And, and I would say, I would comment. So we would comment on each other's and it was, draw, you know, drawing so many people. Another thing is her fiance also posted on his actual Facebook page about the virtual show. <laughs> and um, so she had so many people join, people were inviting other people. And then when it got closer to about two days before the show, she started listing her future favorite things. My future favorite thing is the portable grill because I can't wait to use it for tailgating. And so I thought that was great. And because we started working together like as a team, um, but definitely coaching the host and just coming up with ideas even together. And she came up with some ideas that I didn't even think of. And, um, and then I decided this first time to do Facebook Live to welcome everybody to the show. And I just did it because I said, let me just welcome everybody. And I'm, I'm usually not that type of person. And I get very nervous during shows when there's a lot of people there. But um, the virtual shows to me, I guess maybe because the people, it's over the computer, I was more comfortable. And I said, you know, I welcomed everybody. I had my Camping Chef apron on um, because I wanted to, you know, you know, I wanted to look the part. I wanted to, you know, and I welcomed everybody and I told them what was going to happen, even though I had posted days before about contests and games and, you know, just getting everybody involved. I also thanked everybody personally. We did some games. And, um, it was just, it was fun. It was one hour and it was just one woman herself. She might be doing a virtual show, but she just went to her kitchen and she ordered $450 of product. And she tells me how she loves Pampered Chef. So I've been talking to her about even, you know, being a consultant. But I think the, the basic thing, and I'm not an expert on this yet. I've only been doing this what, like a... It started in August, so what is that? But Facebook was most exciting for you. It was great, and it was, I said, Trish, this is not only like the best virtual show I ever did, but it's the highest show I ever did. Did you do a live so, video, a live so, video a recipe too? No, yeah. but I'm going to do that next. Okay. Um, I want to do that next, and I want to try it out first before I do it. I'm going to have a virtual show um, uh, at the end of the month. I'm going to try it and see how it goes, but I'm going to practice beforehand just to make sure that, everything works out but I think that's good because then all they're really missing from not being at a live show is actually tasting everything but they're, sh they're you're showing them not only videos not only recipes and all that but you're going to do an actual on Facebook live right so that's so I think that's going to be even better and I actually love the virtual shows I think they're great and it's like <laughs> To me, I know this stuff, but it's like you're not lugging things. I, I mean, I love doing the live shows, and stuff, but I mean, it was like I did nothing. Even the host said I did nothing, and she got $340. I said, now, if you did that in June, you would have got the host. <laughs> I said, have another show in June. But I said, um, you know, and she had $340. She got the grill for free. She got 
so many things to pray. And there her was, friends all saw that too. And her friends saw that, so now I have possibly two virtual shows towards the end, like the last couple of weeks, because they saw what she got. And they were like, well, I'm going to do it. And she already said, I'm buying the pots for my next, my future hair price item on that. So it's like just her excitement alone because she does love hair and stuff. But it, it just helps. And saying, oh, you could do that. And she's like, what about if I do my future favorite things because I can get people interested? Oh, wow, you could earn this and the new products and everything. So when we work together like that, she was posting things. I was posting things. It, it so she's really gonna be like a, She's gonna be like the hidden person on the show that that leads the invite. So she mm -hmm. can on the next year. At least we're commenting on things. She's gonna, uh, she's gonna, gonna chime like, in. Hey, uh, uh, she's yes. the one I invited yes. to the look and learn, but yes. she, I, she's just not ready for it yet. There's That's some okay. other stuff going on, but. She's like, oh, I'm excited to do this with you. And she's like, if I'm available, you know, I'll film you Facebook Live. You could be doing the recipe. <laughs> but I definitely like, I like how you show me that setup there. But I think it's good because then people actually see you doing the recipe. Mm -hmm. And I have to say, I know, I know this is your line like, but I have no, to say, no, 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 I don't want how I want my, my new recruit, I just recruited Michelle, because she's already gone on live. And, and with her kit that came in the mail. Mm -hmm. oh, wow. And she's already been doing like little demos, getting the feel of it. And I'm just so proud of that because I haven't even done that yet. So I <laughs> admire it and I just think that. That's why I love watching Judge. <laughs> yeah, love yeah, I she, Elisa has inspired me. When she oh. told me she was live and I saw her, I could have cried sitting there watching her. I'm like, don't worry, I'm gonna. And I'm not the nervous <laughs> outgoing person, trust me. I'm a, I mean, I can be outgoing with people I know, but I'm it's really shy. It, it takes me a lot. Like when you. I do a lot of people, I've been into not my personal life. She has a fabulous slideshow. I put her on the spot in my last show. Like, I feel like I. Anyway. But I like the version. Well, congratulations. Thank you so much. That's really fantastic. And the biggest key to that I've learned from Elisa is that you don't have to ask for anything. Yeah. That is so true. You don't have to ask for anything. That is so true. You don't have to ask for anything. That is so true. You don't have to ask for anything. That is so true. You don't have to ask for anything. That is so true. You don't have to ask for anything. That is so true. You don't have to ask for anything. That is so true. You don't have to ask for anything. That is so true. Um, so that's awesome, awesome. Congratulations again, Lisa. That's Thank fantastic. It took me four years to realize that. <laughs> so, um, Sydney is, I don't think she joined us virtually um, on Zoom, but I'm going to um, give her some kudos because uh, she, she's the, Sydney is the girl that lives out in uh, Colorado, and her and I met through a virtual party. And she joined uh, about two, three months ago, two, two months ago. Just tell me on another report. Um, <laughs> she joined in January, yeah, the end of January, January 26th. And she had a phenomenal, phenomenal march. Um, Sydney is young. She's in her early 20s. She's married. No kids, she has fur babies, she works full time, and she goes to college full time. And she also does Pampered Chef. Um, and she did in March, I think that's why she's not online with us tonight, because I saw she has like a 12 page English paper or something she has to write. Oh, <laughs> so, um, can totally understand that. Uh, but she did a total of four. Thousand wow. wow. thirty-four dollars wow. in sales in the month of March. Wow! wow. wow. She had three online parties and three uh, cooking show parties, so a total of six parties. So I do have a couple of ribbons. I'll be sending her. Um, let's see. I've got the $4,000 month ribbon that I'll be sending her. That's fantastic. And a uh, high month. So the overall achiever um, in sales uh, for the entire team this month. So kudos to you, Sydney. Plus another um, ribbon too, four show achiever, four more show achiever. So she's got those coming to her. Um, Let's see, her high show, she did 
It has $1,000 show and $24. Um, so her show average for the month of March was $797. Three words. That's awesome. Three words, eight letters. Say it. She sure did. I am good. Maximum commission she could make too. She's hitting $4,000. Oh, lady, so, right. <laughs> the next person I would like to congratulate is with her sale of 3000 Now, this is quite impressive, too, guys. Her sale of $3,439. And that was done in just two shows. One cooking show and one online party. And that is Miss Director Trish Kosh. That is fantastic. She also shared the opportunity with um, Michelle. She had a new recruit join her team last month as well. So I've got a recruiter ribbon for you, Trish. <laughs> and you get the $3,000 month ribbon as well. Congratulations. Congratulations. And um, Trish, if you could just come on up here and read my stats for everybody. Oh, I don't have my glasses on. Okay. Sorry. Just give me a moment. Because it sounds better coming from someone else than me <laughs> reading them myself. And I do want to share with everybody, not to chew my own horn, but I want you guys all to know what I'm doing too. Yes, it's during the month. Where's your arm? Is that the bottom? Okay, Jessica Arna. Uh, she had, start with commissionable sales? Yeah, that's the pink line. Okay, commissionable sales this month of, are you ready? Seven thousand wow. dollars and four hundred and forty dollars wow. a day. Awesome! Wow, that's incredible. Show average of eight hundred and fifty. Top show, her high show of twelve hundred and seventy-three. Nice. She got fifteen bookings, girls. Wow. Love wow. that show. Yes. All, all, all. Three recruits. No schnoogie. What else? <laughs> what else do I read off of here? Stop it. That's fabulous. That's fabulous. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. You know, when you I put your mind you. to it, you really can do it. You really can. And like Lisa just whispered in my ear, <laughs> because she had such an exciting month, she actually made more in her pamper check, check than she made working for a brick yeah. school. Wow. Not surprising. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it, it is motivating, mm -hmm. and I have to say, Jess does. They motivate. both went in the same day, and I was like, okay, and more fun, and more fun. More fun. So it is <laughs> definitely. Sometimes you know you have to work. You have to put a little effort forward, uh, like with the phone calls, approaching people. Um, and I'm going to tell you, it took me a long time to do that for years, but I've noticed that you're so quick to bring them out now in people to so automatically say to them, well, then why don't you host a show? You know, and so, <laughs> although I've hosted the Emma Show for like 20 years for all different people, directors, regular people. Don't be afraid to ask because really think about how happy you are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. 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 So, um, without any further ado, I would like to also recognize Miss Patty here, our hospitality consultant. She had a fantastic month, too. She did $2,299. She also got uh, five bookings, and she got a recruit lead last month, too. And what's even more impressive about her sales is all but, I think she said, $100 of it is through virtual parties. Well, so you're buying too. Yes. So you can do that. You can she buy. never left her home and gave herself a decent paycheck. So that's fantastic. So those of you who are not doing virtual parties and would like to learn more about them, contact me. I will help you. I will do my best and help you and get you all set up. Look at you, Sharon. You did join us all the way from Naples, Florida. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> in the hotel room <laughs> <laughs> so um i just want to congratulate these folks too because um you submitted at least 750 dollars or more commissionable sales uh in the month of march earning the help with 
cancer mix and shop, awesome. which I have out. That's gorgeous. Isn't yeah. that yeah. Really awesome? I'm so happy when I got a deal. Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations, yeah. Lisa Sinclair, Trish Kosh, Tammy Lynn Lacanzi, Jen Fowler, Sydney Tinsley, and myself. Awesome. Awesome. Congratulations. I like this better than the old one mm -hmm. they had. Yeah. 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 Well, that was a little that one. That was a little, little one. tiny one. I die, die, die. I die, die. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, guys, some of you that are newer um, to Pampered Chef, in your new consultant rewards program, I just want to throw out some magic dates to you to make you aware in case you weren't. Um, so, let's see. So, Jen. You no. have um, Emily, Emily's out of the shower. Two hundred dollars in your Pamper Chef bank that you've earned so far. Okay. Your um, ninety day end date is May thirtieth. So um, keep submitting sales through May thirtieth, and you could earn even more Pamper Chef dollars. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, we have uh, Tracy. She joined um, Tracy, Sharon, and Carolyn. All three of them joined in March. So you guys, um, your bonus date, Tracy, your bonus date is April 24th. We've already, uh, I've already spoken to Tracy um, about that, what that magic date means to her because she's only like $75 shy of hitting her qualification and hitting her bonus. So she's got a couple online parties that she's submitting next week, so she definitely will hit it, so that's exciting. Um, then we have Sharon, who just joined us from Florida. Uh, your 30-day end date is May 1st, so you need that $1,250 in to get your bonus. Um, we we'll your rebate back on your kit. Um, and she just before she left for vacation, she um, hosted her launch party on Saturday. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. So yeah. she hosted her launch party at home on Saturday, and uh, she's also doing it alongside um, on, as an online party as well. So I know she's got that going on, and she's got some bookings and stuff like that, too, that she added to her calendar. And then yes. um, Marilyn Benvenuto, she just joined um, on March 30th. And she actually has her launch party tomorrow, and then her best friend is hosting on Thursday. So she's got two back-to-back -back back parties this mm -hmm. week. That would be good. Night. Um, so hopefully, all that works out. I talked to her yesterday, and I know she's uh, expecting about eight of her friends. She literally just threw this party together on Thursday last week, and she has um, eight guests confirmed to come, nice. to come on that nice. night. So that's exciting. And um, Michelle, Trish's um, new team member, her 30-day um, end date is also uh, May 1st, like Sharon is. So um, mm -hmm. that's her magic date. And then everyone else will talk about when your 90 days date is and all that stuff and what that really means to you um, when we get through our 30 days first. <laughs> Nice oh, great job, Emily. <laughs> so Jen, uh, Jen has qualified. She hit her goal that she wanted to hit in her first 30 days. So those of you who are still within your new consultant program that are on uh, Zoom, the, you can earn Pampered Chef dollars um, in your first nine of business. So for every $1,250 that you submit, you get another $100. Again, currently you have $200 in your bank and you have $1,600 in sales submitted. You yeah, submitted another party tonight for $650. Okay. Just that close. Yeah, yeah. So like another about $300, probably I'm doing the math quick in my head. Um, you'll hit three thousand, so you'll give yourself another hundred dollars in paper check money. Mm -hmm. So yeah. exactly what you want. I know. So you can keep Even things on the list. You can keep hosting a party. Keep earning. <laughs> so um, let's see. All right. So it's ten to eight, and oh, Trish, I forgot to give you this too. Okay, so that's for Sydney. All right, so um, here we go. I have some tips 
things here that I want to share with everybody on host coaching. Um, I've got this little system that uh, I inherited, adopted, from uh, those of you who know him um, back in the day. Uh, this is actually what David Meenan used to do, and it's been implemented by other consultants, and Christina Maniscalco is an advanced director with Pampered Chef. Um, I think she's very close to promoting senior Um she is fantastic. I absolutely love her. I follow her. I stalk her like there's no tomorrow. Um, and the reason being is she's she's so approachable and she is filled with awesome, awesome ideas. And she's very, very techy, a lot more techy than I am. And and I'm, I am kind of techy, but she's a lot more techy than I am. And she makes um, all kinds of videos and has all kinds of files that she shares. Um, so I will share the video that she made. Um, those of you that are in the Six Weeks to Success program, um, all this information was shared in last night's training call and all the... Uh, Supporting documents are also up yeah, on that, that or up on that dream catchers page uh, But with you guys my team that aren't on dream catchers I also wanted to share this information with you because as you can see from um, Lisa's testimonial with working with her host and teaming up with her host what the results can be when you team up with your uh, with your host um, This stuff will really help you do that and help you get more organized um, so all the supporting documents that I have um, for this host coaching setup, I will post um, on our team page. If you require to receive it through email, that's fine. I can email it to you as well. Just send me a private message, um, text me, or, or send me an email and say, Jess, I need you to email me those instead. I can't figure out how to get them off of Facebook. I totally understand, and I will do that for you. Um, so just know that you don't necessarily have to go. Um, but on the team page, when you go to the Team Crusaders page, there's tabs at the top, and when you scroll all the way over to the Files tab, click on that, and there's already oodles of files on there that will help you with your business that are related to bookings, recruiting, and, and any kind of... Um, supporting documents uh, you'll find on there. You'll even find on there um, my cooking show, my basically my Pamper Chef calendar, what I've got going on, um, and Trisha's also. We're trying to keep them up to date. So if you guys stumble across any dates that work for you that you want to come and observe one of us, um, it's out there, so just let us know. And I have to tell you, I went to Jess's party her. the other night, um, and you know I do a lot of parties too. I went to Jess's party just because I wanted that little bit of training with the like checkout, mm -hmm. check out. but um, I love watching Jess's yeah. show. I came home and said to my husband, she's just does it so smooth and so natural, and um, it's just really nice to go to someone else's party mm -hmm. and kind of watch them and see what they do. I'm hoping so, that they're going to extend that express checkout yeah. yes on to everybody because when I watch Jess, they're coming up to check out and they've already got their orders yeah, yeah. on their really phone. Good. I'm just so like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because I have to take my orders that way. I'm nervous. That's awesome. So, so yeah. So if anybody um, has the has the availability to join one of us at a party, feel free to do so. We would love to have you. And share with you any pointers that we have. Okay. I'd like so. to come. What's that? I said I'd love to come. You would love <laughs> to come. I know you would. Have um, to take like a weekend trip or something. Oh yeah. Yeah, right. Who's gonna put me up for a night? I will. I got a spare room. Pick somebody. We all have spare rooms. We got rooms. <laughs> all right then. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. You know what you should do? You got this camper. We've got lots of great camping sites in New Jersey. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. I don't have it yet. Oh. I still have a few more months to go. Oh, like, I like, thought you had it already. Like two. Last year is four. <laughs> no, five. 
Okay. Now I've got it in the sight. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So um, host coaching. So I've created um, Manila folders with my host name. I've got my host name and the um, show date and the time in the tab up here. Then I've got this tracking label. Now on these labels, it's, it's a to-do list. And I check them off as I do them. So this particular party is scheduled for May 31st. And on my to-do list, it's add party to my calendar, which is automatically done when I book it at my parties. And guys, that's when your host coaching starts, is right then and there when you make that booking. Okay? You want to, um, right then and there, tell the host... That over the next four, six weeks, so cute. you're going to become best friends. You're going to want to talk to them like at least once a week. And you're going to want um, and tell the host that you're teaming up with her to get her a $215 or more shopping spree. Ask her, how would you like a $215 or more shopping spree? $215 means $1,000 or more in sales to you guys. Okay. So I think that makes it sound more like it's about them than you when you tell them what they're going to get instead of just the number of sales. Right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So um, that's your first step right then and there. Then can I ask you a question? Um, yep. Jessica, can I ask a question? Um, Y'all talk about the labels. Do you have to get a special program for that? Because I don't have labeling on my uh, computer. Uh, Word. Huh? It's Word. Oh, I got that. Never yep. mind. Yep. Continue. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And, the, and I have these, um, I have these labels already configured to the label size. So all you've got to do is save them to your computer and then have that same label size and print. It's so, super outstanding. Cool. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, so some other things that are on here for my checklist is set up the party on the website, email the host from your personal website, um, copy the host on the email invite through your personal website. Everyone following me with that one? Mm -hmm. uh, most times when you get a booking, 80% of the time, let's say, that booking came from a party that you just did. So you're going to have a past host invited to that party. So let's say um, Pat is the host and Jennifer is a guest at Pat's party. And Jennifer books a party off of Pat. And when I go to set up Jennifer's party, I already have Pat's information. I know Pat's going to be invited to Jen's party. So I already go in and I add Pat as a guest oh. to Jen's party. Okay. And then when you go into the show under consultants corner, there's that third tab. It's um, the show page, the show info, and then the guest list, when you click on that guest list tab, after you've added your guest, you're going to see that Pat is listed there as a guest. And then you're going to click on Pat's name, and there's a drop-down box of a few different things you can do with that guest. You can add that guest to your contact list. You can send, um, and then you can send emails. And the emails are all pre-written. If you haven't explored this tab yet, please do. Explore it. There, it's all written and easy and there for you. It's just a matter of going in, pointing, clicking, and hitting send. So there's save the date email, there's an invitation email, there's a thank you for your order email, there's a thank you for coming email. So you can really do your customer service um, email communications right through the party that way. Um, so guys, here's what I do. I go into the guest tab and I send the email invitation to Pat but you can also click that the email comes from the host or the email comes from you, the consultant. So I leave it where the email is coming from the host. Okay. That would make sense. 
And then I copy, because you can also click on copy consultant and right. copy the post. What? No, it's, so it's all running. That email invitation is going out to Pat, the past host, the person you're inviting. Then um, that same email is being copied to your own inbox by clicking copy consultant and then also to the host's inbox because you click copy post. Everybody with me? Mm -hmm. Okay, so the reason I, and then you hit send, and the reason I do it that way is because this way um, the host gets the email invitation in their inbox, in their email, and it's far more easier for the host to just click forward right. and add people that they already have in their address book to that email and send the email invitation off. And, rather than expecting them to log in to the host dashboard and physically add names and email addresses. It, it happens maybe 2% of the time when the host actually does do that. So um, I found that this way, um, it's, it's an easy way. I mean, you can't really track, you can't ensure that she actually did this, but you know what, you made it very easy for her to do. So this is another reason to contact your host after you do all of these steps for inviting. Um, and then you want to just make sure that your host did invite all the different avenues that you suggested. So um, the other thing of course is setting it up on Facebook, creating three envelopes because I also have letters that I send to my hosts. So I have a letter that goes out um, that goes with the host packet. Um, there, that's the letter one. Then I have letter two that goes out about three weeks, two weeks before the party date. And then I have the third letter that goes out um, a week before the party date. And then I also have uh, the postcard invitation. I have a label on the postcard invitation that says, because um, the postcard already says, let's cook up some fun, right? And the label is um, telling the host it's time to invite her people to her party. So the note I have handwritten on here, it says, most important part of the party is the host. You, it's time to mail, text, email, or the invites. Yes, 40 friends, co-workers, family, and neighbors. This will equal a $1,000 party, which means a $215 free shopping spree plus more. So this basically is just sending them something in the mail to tell them it's time to do their invitations. Um, and then the letters are, um, I'll just post them on the Facebook page, but they're really just all about uh, reminding the host to get outside orders, to contact and remind her friends, ask if they've created their wish list. <coughs> the ingredients for the recipe that you guys are going to be making, um, it's up to you how you have that set up, whether you provide ingredients or you give your host a shopping list, but um, I always, I have my, these letters are designed in a way where um, you can give your host the shopping list. I always um, do bring the ingredients for the recipe that I make, and I do that as a courtesy to, to my host and a thank you um, for, for booking the party. Um, most times I have a lot of the ingredients already in my own house, and it, it ensures um, warm, cozy fuzzy feelings in my belly that I know I've got the right things <laughs> that I need. Like so, okay. you know, the dark yeah. garlic mm -hmm. wine you want to use. The uh, or frozen chicken. Jess, are you going to post those weddings? Yeah. yeah. They're on. And the yeah. postcard? Yes. Yep. Um, also, uh, it also reminds them, above all, you know, to have fun and to take advantage of the host special uh, for that month. So I... Book this party last week, so I've got my envelopes ready to go with the host address. So we're already ready to go. So when I know it's time for um, 
for them to go into the mail, they're all ready to go. And the last thing that's in here is the thank you card. As soon as I come home from my parties, um, because I use the app and put in the orders at the party, I don't have anything entry to do when I get home. So what I do when I get home is I write my thank you card to my house and it goes to the, the foot of the driveway the very next day. Very next day. And um, the last thing that I'll do within 24 hours of the party is I'll send a thank you text to everybody that um, came to the party. I always ask for their cell phone number. I don't ask for a phone number. I say cell phone number. Um, because more people are um, willing to now than they are to talk to it. It's impossible to get people on the phone anymore. Okay. Sure. <laughs> so, um, and then the very last thing I do is I address, get this, address a Christmas card. Um, I bought Christmas cards at the end of the season when they were on sale after the holidays at like half price. And um, I've got uh, Christmas cards. Hello, stamped and ready to go for my the first year that I'm doing this. And um, I actually feel organized <coughs> because of this. So I've got in this little folder here, I've got all of, I've got about 30 or so postcards all just ready to go. So all I need is a booking and I just got to address it so it's ready to go. Right? I also have guys I didn't um, talk about on the, on the call last night virtual show. Well. Um, I'm my virtual host too. So, um, I'll share that with you guys. So that's part of these also. Those are those, and then this. So you can see the envelope. And then in here, in this envelope, I've already, I've got, um, these are just my uh, host letters and my order forms and all the um, flyers. So the recruiting special, the host special, the outside order forms, and then the host letters. So I can easily put my folders together um, once I get a, another booking. So as soon as I get the booking, I'm putting that folder together. And then um, I have a, um, a desktop file holder in my office where I um, organize the folders based on their show dates. So, um, so far it's been really, it's been working well for me, keeping me um, on top of things. And if you heard my numbers from last month, um, part of the reason my sales are so high is because of being in constant contact with that host and partnering up uh, with the host. So um, the last thing that uh, I want to share with you guys is I'm going to hand the floor over to Trish. She's going to talk about the Help With Cancer program and she's going to share some tips on um, what's going on with, with that and um, the two products that we have to offer our guests and all that good stuff. So I don't have a help with cancer one. All right, ladies, I just want to let you know that um, we're so excited about May, you know, our commute cancer month. However, if you're looking for bookings, um, and this is the beginning of April, okay, if you're looking for May bookings, everyone has been touched by some form of cancer or somebody in their family. So I've been uh, dots, you know, on your Facebook um, or texting people and letting them know that, um, you know, um, May is a very important month since 2010. Pampered Check has donated over $12 million, okay, in support of cancer research for early detection and treatment. So, you know, um, if they choose to host a show, if I'm not mistaken, it says for every show booked during the month of May, Pampered Chef donates $3 towards that organization. I think that's what I read today on the site. Oh, wow. Okay. Mm. Um, and for every pink product purchased, they donate $1. So you can actually print that flyer out, put that in your, well, you know, once your show is booked, mm -hmm. print that out, put that in your catalogs. 
And make sure at the beginning of your show, you mentioned this, you know, that Pampered Chef is celebrating its 10th anniversary for supporting the Help With Cancer Foundation um, through the support of um, selling the paint products and also fundraiser shows. So they have an opportunity to either do a fundraiser show, but they might just want to book a regular show in the month of May. And all of their guests that purchase one of these, if there's 15 guests, there's $15 alone right there at that show being donated to the organization. So, you know, that might be a little blurb that you want to say in the beginning or in your April shows this month, stress it, because that's how you get bookings on your calendar for May. So there's a beautiful... Um, there's a beautiful header, and there's also um, some pictures. Um, if you go under uh, imagery, imagery, um, there's a picture that says "Thanks for your order," and it's got the um, mix and chop. Thanks for your order, and it's got the water bottle. Save those because whether it's a virtual show or a regular show, once they make that purchase, you can just pop that right in there. It's really nice. Um, so this is a way for you to get May bookings. And if you fill your calendar up with May bookings, you'll for sure have June bookings, June and July, because those are the bookings that you'll get off of your May shows. So next month really should be easy breezy for everyone to at least get five shows on your calendar, especially, you know, with this quote. And I didn't make the quote up. It's all on, um, if you go to charitable, charitable um, events, and you look at the drop down bar and it says the breast cancer awareness, it even states that right on the flyer. You know, I, I don't have it with me, but it states right on the flyer since 2010, they've donated over $12 million. So, um, there just are, by selling the pink product, just by selling the pink product. Yeah. So, um, you might want to make a pink dessert at your show. You might want to make a cake in the, um, rock crop or in the mini, um, deep covered baker. You know, bring the cake there already done and maybe fill your pastry bags with pink icing. And then you could just put roses on it and ice it up, some pink glitter sprinkles mm -hmm. on there. So, you know, do anything that you can to promote um, this exceptional cause because I really do believe it's touched so many people's lives. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. and it will Absolutely. definitely help you. So, you need to go online, print out that flyer, copy the flyers. Green light everybody on that right hand side, you know, figure out the blurb that you want to say. I did, I did uh, download one. I could maybe get it up on our wall. It's a, I'm not very computer technology, but I'll try. I'm not very technical. It's lost there somewhere. Do <laughs> you have any questions? Does anybody have any questions? No, no. questions. No well, questions. I will tell you this too. A lot of people are um, a lot of people are on all kinds of diets. I don't know what if you all do home cooking shows as well. This is a really cute live video you can make as well. A lot of people are on different kinds of diets. They're eating low carb and no sugar. Okay, this is a really perfect example. What I did this week was I took my skillet, pepper chef skillet, and put in about uh, I guess about a cup and a half of sliced up strawberries and a little bit of water packet of trivia and turn it on. And as they start to melt down, you take your mix and chop and chop them up, right? And then you pour them into your one cup or two cup prep bowl actually and refrigerate it. And you have like a homemade jam that could be put on top of um, the non-fat Greek yogurt. Um, the, um, oh my God, I did that. I did that. It's absolutely no points. The fruit is zero points on Weight Watchers. It's Even gotten, though it's Smash. Yep, it's got no carbs, and if you put it on your own non-factory yogurt, I think that yogurt is one point, mm -hmm. opposed to them buying the yogurts that already have the artificial fruit, which are anywhere between three and five points. Mm -hmm. So whether you're on Weight Watchers, you're on Isogenics, you're on 30 Day Clean, they oh. really are giving up sugar on all of those diets. So this is a cute, yeah, maybe I'll do that. I'm a little nervous about going live. Um, myself, but that's a perfect thing. <laughs> yeah, because that's not like you're showing the ah, cooking part. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Make some chocolate. Yeah. yeah. Well, I cheated. My second video, I actually imitate myself using the um, spiral slice. Yeah. And, like, and I was like, you know what? I like that taste. So I just sat there and like upload yeah. to Facebook. After you got a chance to look at it. Yeah, after I looked at it, I was like, you know what? I'm keeping that. I'm not going to try to do it live. I was like, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was like, I might, I might do that. Out great. I'm not, yeah. I'm not no, that's fine. Yeah, you could record it. 
So it, it is, like, yeah, it's it all about the so live yeah. first. And I, I did the Facebook Live first. I wasn't really, it wasn't really. <laughs> <laughs> I, was so I told you, the Facebook Live and the handle came off the yeah. micro, the uh, greater I think that happened to someone else, else too. So right. I have a question before you move yeah. on. I totally forgot. What is the Big Mac 24 hour <laughs> email? Um, that's just the thank you email. Okay. Um, after, 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 so if you guys wanted to take a postcard invitation so you know that's what I wrote, okay. there, you're welcome to. Okay. I'm not just going to say, I don't know if Anne is on here, and I know she's done, um, I think Anna and Michelle have both done a live video with the whipped cream maker. So what you can do is you can actually put a little bit of uh, food coloring in there and make that a pink wish of cream. Okay. Yeah. Okay, and then that will tie right to showing them the pink products giving them the spiel all about the donation and the 10th anniversary and how you're challenged to book yeah. shows because it's okay. really hard to support you know, breast cancer awareness. Right, right. Yep. Hi, Linda. All right, so, guys, what we got going on next is um, we're actually going to make a recipe here if um, everyone's um, up for it because it's now 8.15. Um, we were going to do grilled chicken shawarma. So what? I want to, um, real quick, yes. what I'm going to do is I'm just going to end the recording. Ah, uh, I want to watch. You Jess. can watch. You can watch. Oh, okay. I'm just ending the recording. Could we have whoever has all the background <laughs> noise mute it? Huh? I'm, I'm having a real hard time hearing. There's a lot of background noise from someone. And I don't know who it is. It might have been from the baby's mommy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm having a hard time loves, hearing. <laughs> he always waves at me and does all kinds of stuff. <laughs> yeah, I'm not getting anybody's picture, so I don't know who it is. <laughs> yeah, I think it's Miss Santos. Well, she's, oh, she's okay. a good girl. <laughs> I just love that little girl of hers. She's cute. So, okay, so um, <laughs> we're going to set up and do um, grilled chicken swarma. We're going to have a little fun in the kitchen tonight, and you guys totally can hang out. I'm just going to turn the recording off. So those of you who watch this video, video afterwards thank you for tuning in i hope you got some great tips all of you from uh, the host coaching that we mentioned and of course the recognition that was super exciting tonight so let's go i'm excited 